M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Yaesu FT710. But look here, we're using the FT control for Yaesu by the same person that makes SDR control for ICOM. We have got the SCU LAN 10 connected and we're using that Wi-Fi connection to send out exactly the same username and passwords to the app that I've downloaded on my iPad. And there is a version of this uh, for Mac PC as well. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. And I am listening using the iPad or I can turn up the radio. And to turn up the volume, just tap here, the second one in and we can lower and increase the volume just here. And then there's a raft of selections uh, just here. Let's put that back in. Uh, so we're, it's all touchscreen, of course. Move this up and down, see what it does with the, with the spectrum. And then we've got this here, tapping and reducing just there with the plus and minus. We can change the band, LSB. We've got filters, we can turn on, we can transmit. Um, there you go, we are in transmit at the moment. And there's a tuner there as well. Oh, <laughs> quite noisy, but it works. Microphone gain there, ability for Vox, all your, your shortcuts, you've got your IPO, R fill, AGC, RF, noise blanket, and so on and so on. So, VFOB as well. Now, if you're on the Yesu 101, you get dual screens and dual waterfalls. Uh, all your AB settings here. So, I've, there's a really good instruction manual for this as well. The bottom plus minus is for the VFO bandwidth. You can also change the VFO filter area here, okay? Just here at the top. See if I can change this by tapping it. Um, TX controls top left. You can mute it. You can turn off the radio top right. Tap here where it says disconnect and it turns the radio off. And you've got audio settings here. PTT, panel, memories, macros, command bar, DTMA. There. And we haven't even touched the service yet because this thing will do FTA out of the box without you having to change hardly any parameters. So if we go to, there's modes, CW, decoder, FTA, which we'll look at in a minute, SSTV, WE. But look at these tools. And I just ordered the MIDI controller. Uh, was about £36 delivered in the UK. Then so we can have a VFO. Actually, the one I ordered was this one the ctr2 controller and the ctr2 dial these are the two i've got the midi controller i haven't got that one and what's that there ultra beam what is that i've never even heard of an ultra beam looks pretty cool though anyway you can see cw macros dx cluster pota psk reporter and down here got some stats there let's go to most so if you hit ft8 okay and it says here, please tap on receive to start. Now, I have never used this, okay? Um, please enter your call sign. Where do we put this, is it? Yeah, like I said, I've never used it. Modes, waterfall, there's gonna be a settings cog, isn't there? What's this map? Ooh, look at that. And um, we'll go back, FTA. Now, where do we add our call sign? We can select the band. And yeah, it's, it's flicking across automatically. Now it wants me to enter my call sign. I know I should know, but I don't, but it should still start receiving it. Give it a minute to sort of populate. We're looking for the bit where, I know it's gonna be somewhere very obvious. There it comes, starts to receive. Now I'm just looking for my call sign. All right, someone's gonna be, put it here. <laughs> it's fine, I'm learning. Ah, operator call sign, found it. M, zero, F, X, B. We've got a 49 to one ballon on this at the moment. Enter. And, 
What's the power level? We can set the power level. Let me just go back a minute. I just want to just make sure that the power isn't too high. 40 watt, I don't want as much as that. You see here, power. We'll do it 20. 49 to one balance, 66 foot length of wire. And then we're going to hit the TX. Do we just tap, let's tap one of the stations. Ah, there you go, double tapped it. I can see it TXing, I'm not sure if it's got all the right settings. It says USB on my radio, it might want USB data. We'll let it do a couple of sends. There it goes again. Somebody else. Oh, okay. I'm double tapping. Let's try someone else. I feel like the green ones are in range. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's try. Right, we've tried that one now. M7YBX, M0FXB. See what happens. So I just thought I'd show it, really. I've done a video... Oh no, apparently, if I remember with the other software, if you look at it here, you can actually, oops, I shouldn't have moved that, but you can actually see the call signs of the FTA on this screen here. I've got, let me go back, FTA, hit the right band. That's better. Waterfall, you see the call signs within the waterfall. So I'm, there's a lot more to this, come on, I've been using it for 10 minutes. Uh, I'll put the links in for everything, including the instruction manual. And, you know, if you're into, if you love your 710 and you want to walk around with your iPad and control this anywhere in the world, you will have to get yourself an SCU LAN 10 and, and set that up. There are clear instructions of that as well. And my video. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.